Hey everybody, Jeff Atzanella here. Uh, I play some goalie for the Portland Timbers, and I'm going to fill in for Timber Joey today, if that's all right with you guys. I'm going to read you uh, actually a book that I wrote, and it's one of my favorite stories that that we have, and it's a basketball story. It's about um, uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers and when they won the NBA championship in 2016. So if you're a sports fan or you know if you're missing sports like my family is, I hope you enjoy. And uh, I'm not a don't have the, don't have quite the background as Timber Joey does, but you know it's a little rainy outside for me today. So let's get started. So the book is called Cleveland Wins a Championship: The Story of the 2016 Cleveland Cavaliers. Here's some fun artwork. I want to tell you a story, one that I still can't believe. It's the story of a team that saved a city in 2016. The Cavaliers were the team, Cleveland the name of the town, a city used to losing, their team always letting them down. It had been 52 years to be exact. Year after year, their teams hadn't won jack. The Indians haven't won since 1948, thrice coming close, but it wasn't their fate. The Browns are the Browns. What more can I say? Life as a fan are truly dog days. The 89 Cavs had a chance. It was their time, we all thought. But Michael Jordan ruined that with a heartbreaking shot. To recall the last title, we must go back much longer before. Back when Jim Brown was the man, the year 1964. The Browns were the team. Football was the game. This was the last year a trophy would bear Cleveland's name. 142 seasons with no championship ring, but then something happened, the return of a king. But before we go on, you need to hear the full story, the tale of a king who returned his city to glory. It all got started on draft day 2003. The Cavaliers took a kid from right down the street. With the number one pick, with the number one overall pick, David Sturd said on the stage, from Akron, Ohio, the Cleveland Cavaliers select LeBron James. The chosen one is what he was called. He stepped on the court and wow, could he ball. He could shoot, he could run, and soar with a jump, but even King James couldn't get them out of their slump. After seven seasons of trying, but no title won, came the day of the decision, and it was really no fun. The king told the world in a televised speech that he would be leaving Cleveland and taking his talents to South Beach. Cleveland was crushed. Dan Gilbert penned letters. Fans burned their jerseys. It made them feel better. But not all was lost when the king decided to leave. The team discovered a prince. His name was Kyrie. Yet it wasn't quite right. The prince needed the king. And that's just what he got on July 11, 2014. The king said, I'm coming home with one thing in mind. Cleveland will be world champions. This was their time. Delhi, Love, and JR would all join the team, all focused on the goal of winning a ring. The Cavs truly worked hard. They gave it their best but nothing could prepare them for what was brewing out west. There was a sharpshooter taking over the league, Steph Curry his name, the Warriors his team. He could shoot from all over, he was all the new rage. The two teams met in the final, they took center stage. The Cavs fought hard, but the Warriors won the crown, and all of a sudden, there was a new sheriff in town. For Cleveland, success in 2016 came with relative ease. Reaching the finals again, no problem, it was really a breeze. They had changed their head coach from the year before. Tyron Lue led the way, ready to settle the score. For Cleveland, success in 2016 came with relative ease. Reaching the finals again, no problem, it was really a breeze. 
They had changed their head coach from the year before. Tyron Liu led the way, ready to settle the score. On to the finals against a familiar face. The Warriors were waiting on a record-setting pace. The most wins of all time, the best regular season ever. But the King was ready to prove that the Cavs were better. Things got off to a really bad start. Cavs down 3-1 in the series, breaking fans' hearts. But something happened in game number four. A wild arm swing fired up the King even more. Green's fourth flagrant foul was just the spark the Cavs needed, as the Warriors came into Game 5 a little depleted. The Cavaliers crushed them in Game Number 5. The same in Game 6, the team was starting to thrive. On to Game 7, winner take all. Two teams, two hoops, two MVPs, one ball. Back and forth the game went, fans on the edge of their seats. Shot after shot, neither team missing a beat. With the game on the line, the King stunned us all. He raced down the court for a block. All ball! With a minute left, the score tied at 89. Kyrie the Prince was ready to shine. He pulled up from deep and drained in a three. Oracle was shocked. Golden State fans dropped to their knees. The game ended and the King fell to the floor. Cleveland, this one's for you, he said with a roar. Cleveland were champions again, and it was well worth the wait, thanks to a king who returned home, and a team that was great. Hope you guys enjoy the story. I hope everyone's doing okay out there. Uh, keep reading, keep trying to stay busy, and of course, stay, keep washing your hands, do the social distancing, and we'll all get through this soon. See you guys next time.